Hey Francis Lunar, you're here with you. It's time for another lore video. Really just a story of what I remember of the G1 character. Well, today we're doing the hot rod that I said I was gonna do next using Autobot Hot Rod with Titan Master Fire Drive. Give me just a few minutes, we'll get him right out. All right, guys, here we have Hot Rod in his alt mode. It's a really badass car. His, his guns can go in there, or you can put them together and then go in the engine block there as a uh, engine block weapon. But yeah, look at him. He's a really awesome little car. I had this G1. Of course, he wasn't. A, I had him in. The bottom of his prime, which he turns into in the movie when he gets the Matrix. Lucky there. The little cockpit opens. There we have... Fire drive. Ugh. Oh. Huh. He didn't want to come out with just the one hand. But, I get the little fire drive headmaster figure. pain on the face of course that's that's just the way they focus that's just the way they do it Hasbro and of course you fold him up here and there is your hot rod head pretty cool just set that out of the way let's get that the card here nice art that's the same as on the box and we got our beautiful tech specs here hot rod has 10 strength and 13 with fire drive he's got nine speed but it looks like not quite but maybe third but almost 13 with fire drive and his intelligence is 10 with fire drive it's 12 his firepower is 10 with fire drive it's about 15 so fire drive really boosts him up very nice give me just a minute and we'll come back with his robot mode all right guys here we have him his robot mode the only thing i don't like really is he does seem a little wobbly but got his guns but uh, the spoiler you can't really notice it that well but that's okay it, I, I think it's a pretty good figure uh, I like the looks of it and uh, now in the story time hot rod uh, palled around with Daniel in the 86 movie they were fishing when the Decepticons attacked in the shuttle that they um, busted aboard and killed all the Autobots and used to sneak in to attack Autobot City. Daniel and Hot Rod were the first to spot that they were in there. Well, old Cup calls him a turbo driven young punk. And uh, he interferes with the Optimus and Megatron battle. Megatron grabs him. Optimus can't get a clear shot. He should have just shot through Hot Rod, maybe. I don't know. It was probably already too damaged, anyways. And one of them survived, but uh, Megatron got the, almost got the best of him. He was going for the kill, and uh, old Optimus knocked him off the cliff thing and turned the tide of the battle. When he went to pass the Matrix to Ultra Magnus, Hot, he dropped it, and Hot Rod caught it. By the end of the movie, old Hot Rod got the Matrix from Galvatron, and it transformed him into Rodimus Prime, the new leader of the Autobots. And he was pretty cool until the start of Season 3. And then his self-doubt just plagued him. And he wasn't really maybe that effective of a leader, I think. Maybe because he was just, he was always like living in Optimus' shadow and doubt and everything he did. But he was a cool character. I had both him 
and the Rodimus Prime version. Uh, when I was a kid, still do in storage somewhere here at the house. One day, I hope to find them so I can show everybody. But, uh, yeah, I've, I have always liked him. And, uh, I think I've got the Takaratomi version and a Takaratomi Cup version uh, pre-ordered because they come with, they're a little bit different and they, not only are they Titan Masters, but they come with Target Masters for them as well. So maybe we'll show them when we get them. Um, again, I, this is probably going to be way different from the Hot Rod and the Last Night movie that come out, but, you know, he looks a lot, he looks sort of like the figure from Earth Wars. But the figure in Earth Wars is called Rodimus. So I'd say it's a mix between Hot Rod and Rodimus Prime. Yeah, very cool, very cool guy. Next up, I believe, we'll be doing... No, the Sharktacon. I'm not sure when I'll get him up, but I hope too soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, remember, stay classy and be good to one another. You've been busted. Pshh.